Hello everybody, and welcome to Quora Top Stories. With us, you can hear the top real-time stories, put by a real person, wherever and whenever you like. We have a whole season on cop stories, on Quora Top Stories, and today we are here, with another amazing cop question. Hope you guys will like it. The question goes like. As a police officer, what is one of your funniest and most favorite memories? Mandalia Hardy worked at police and law enforcement, says. While my friend and I were off duty, we decided to have some beers with our third friend. We drove there and smoked while waiting for him, just outside of his apartment. Then five juvenile delinquents talking loudly passed us, and then one of them pointed his finger at us, and they came to rob us. What's in your pocket? Finger pointing guy asking me, my wallet, I replied, you mean my wallet, he grinned, his hand went into my pocket while making a scary looking face, grabbed my wallet, and opened it. When he opened my wallet he and his delinquent friends saw this, a police badge, pick, somehow he could hold his scary looking face for a while, until his friends understood what they were doing and sprinted all directions, his face paled while still holding my wallet. Another instance same as the first one, our daily patrol ended and we were going home after we gave our reports, at the same time as the department's patrol policeman. A friend came to fetch me with his car, and as a good gesture I told those guys, who were waiting for the bus, that I could ask my friend to drop them off if they're going in same direction as we are. Quickly four guys jumped into car while thanking me and my friend. When we were going down a narrow road to drop off the first guy, somehow there were two big drunk guys making scene, they were threatening drivers and blocking the road. My friend signaled for them to make way. They turned to us, coming on both sides of car to teach a lesson to this brave driver who tried to mess with big, bad, scary dudes like them. One of them forcefully opened side door of car while yelling WHO the F are signaling like that? Do you know WHO we are, and saw five guys with the same uniform sitting inside car. They spent their night at local police department. Later my friend told me while laughing, if I was driving alone I would never have had that courage to signal. But when your car is filled by five police officers, it's a different story. And really sorry for my English. That's a really funny story, thanks man Dahlia Hardy. And I think the English was good enough? Imagine you're trying to rob someone and he turns out to be a cop. That would be a really bad choice. Anyways, let's move on and hear more funny stories involving a police officer. This one is from William Rogers. He is a public safety professional and he says, Force was working a search warrant on a guy that we had run two search warrants on before and had him cuffed in a back room when the house phone rang. One of my undercover agents answered, Hello? No Joe's tied up right now, can't come to the phone, some stuff. Sure, we got all you want. Come on by. It was all I could do to keep from laughing out loud. I'm not sure I could have pulled this off as easily as my agent did. Of course, they showed up at the home about 20 minutes later. Drove past the sheriff's cars and big SWAT van to ring the doorbell. We didn't have anything to arrest them for, besides committing felony stupid, but we did sit them down for a chat. Another time, this same agent was in a bar we suspected of dealing cocaine and methamphetamine. The target, a girl who worked as a bartender, asked him, are you a cop? My guy, who was wearing a covert recording device on a chain around his neck, said, of course I am. Wanna talk into my microphone, as he grabbed his shirt and pushed it towards her. Now, are you gonna sell to me or not? So she did. Our district attorney only needed two hand-to-hand -hand drug deals to have probable cause enough for an indictment, but my guy was having so much fun with her he went back four more times and bought. When he finally arrested her, he told me the look on her face was priceless. I told you I was a cop the first time we met. Why are you surprised? Yep, yeah, 
ask any cop, and you'll be told if it weren't for stupid people we'd be out of a job. Yes. I think that's true. So guys remember, we should not be stupid if we want police officers out of the scene. It's easy. But the fact is, so many of us, already are. Stupid people do stupid action, and guess what that stupid action gives? Stupid results. I am going too much on this. Let's move on. The question for today is, as a police officer, what is one of your funniest and most favorite memories? Jeremy Smith, former FMF corpsman in Vietnam, and former police officer, says. My sergeant was an Irish immigrant with a very thick brogue. As you might guess he was a very very straight-laced and by the book kind of guy. One evening he and I answered a call, someone was standing on the ledge outside a third floor window of a student dormitory. His friend said he was on LSD. The student was standing on the ledge claiming that he was Superman and could fly. This was in the dead of winter. He was wearing gym shorts, a t-shirt and a towel as a cape. The ledge was kind of icy. When we got there Sergeant Ryan and I both popped our heads out the window to assess the situation. Sergeant Ryan then turned to me and said, All right Smitty, get out there and fetch the lad, I had to go stand outside on the ledge with this guy. I was terrified he would fall and pull me down with him. I explained to him that before he flew off I would really appreciate it if he would help me inside because I was really scared as hell. Well, being Superman he was happy to oblige, and that's how the sergeant and I got him inside. We then took him to the local emergency room. The lad was sitting on a gurney waiting to be examined. When the doctor arrived he asked us to remove the handcuffs. Sergeant Ryan did so and the kid immediately stood up, wrapped his arms around the sergeant's neck and gave him a big, wet sloppy kiss on the lips. Sergeant Ryan forcefully shoved him away, turned red as a beat and stormed out of the ER, wiping his face. People in the ER couldn't stop laughing. The sergeant waited for me in the car. By then I had a very stern, unamused look. I got in the car silently. And we never, ever spoke of the event. Really funny story this one too. I bet, you guys are laughing too. That lad must have seen, the savior spirit in the sergeant, as he removed the handcuffs, so he kissed him, remember he was trying to be Superman. Whatever the lad might have thought, I'm pretty sure, it was a bad day for Irish sergeant. Alrighty. Let's move on. Next, we have a story from Melky McEwen. He is an author of Mind Tickling Books and he says, even now, when I think back to this one I still let out an involuntary grunt. I have so many to choose from that I am working on my fourth book of funny police stories, and of them, this one continues to make me laugh even although it was nearly 25 years ago. One of my colleagues, who I'll call Scotty Boy, made me laugh. He made me laugh when he greeted me in the morning with some joke he had made up about the previous night's football. He made me laugh throughout the day with his funnies, and he made me laugh when he repeatedly extolled the virtues of his beloved Glasgow Rangers football club. He made me laugh at myself, and he made me laugh at the most inappropriate times. You see, Scotty Boy had a habit of trying to make you laugh all the time the worst of which, was when a member of the public came to the counter. In our small office, there was a partition up to separate our room from the callers who came into the foyer. As we walked round to attend to callers, I could see them and the rest of the office, but the rest of the office remained hidden to the collar behind the partition. No matter who came in, Scotty Boy would stand behind the partition with a smile on his face, put on his World War II pilot's helmet and salute you with his tongue hanging out. It was very hard to keep a straight face and deal professionally with the member of the public on the other side of the partition. One of Scotty Boy's favorite tricks was to pull a marigold glove, one of those rubber cleaning gloves, over his head until it stretched over his nose. He would then draw in a breath through his mouth and expel it through his nose so that the marigold glove blew up and up and up and up. The first time I saw him do this I watched in amazement. He managed to blow it up to the size of a football. 
The red glove made him look just like a cockerel as the fingers extended up into the air. My amazement turned to complete hilarity as he began prancing around the room clucking like a chicken. The second time I saw Scotty Boy pulling a marigold glove over his head and prancing around like a chicken brought similar hilarity. The sixth time I saw Scotty Boy pulling a marigold glove over his head and prancing around like a chicken still brought a smile to my face. You might think that the more I saw it, the less appealing it would be. However, it was the hundredth time I saw Scotty Boy pulling a marigold glove over his head and prancing around like a chicken that I thought I was going to die with laughter. My sides were so sore that I thought I might have seriously injured myself. I suppose if you pull a marigold glove over your head, blow it up and prance around like a chicken often enough, then the chief constable and his deputy are bound to walk into the office at the back of you, on an unannounced visit and stare in disbelief. On that occasion, Scotty Boy had been prancing around the front office with two or three of us as an audience. We were surprised to see the chief constable and his deputy walk into the office as they were completely unexpected. Unfortunately for Scotty Boy, he was completely oblivious to their presence. He continued to prance around like a chicken, clucking, and puck-pucking, he also continued to blow into the marigold glove until it could take no more. The elasticity of the glove is such that it can only take so much and with the size increasing as the air expanded it from within there was only one outcome, it exploded. Scotty Boy opened his eyes and stared directly into the face of the chief constable. It was the first time I ever saw Scotty Boy completely and utterly speechless. None of the rest of us, however, could contain our delight. Grunts of laughter turned into bellows of hilarity. The chief constable couldn't help himself, and he too burst out laughing. Scotty Boy's face went as bright red as the marigold glove he had been wearing. Addendum, Scotty Boy was one of the most popular, hardest working and quick-witted guys I ever worked with. He was fiercely loyal to the job, his colleagues and his football team. Sadly he is no longer with us. Despite all his humor and nonsense, underneath he kept hidden a troubled mind. In a tragic dark time for him he took his own life. I think of him often. Yeah. Rest in peace, Scotty Boy. You are in, the heart of many. People who make others laugh with all of his or her efforts, in many possible ways, will always make a good place in the memories. Anyways, let's move on. The question for today is, as a police officer, what is one of your funniest and most favorite memories? This answer was answered for, what are some funny police officer stories? Since it's a similar and is interesting I kept it in this video. Take it as a bonus for today. The answer is by Christopher Finch. He has a PhD in theology and is a CSI forensic scientist, stargazer, and deist, and he says. True story, when I was a patrol officer, my beat had the only Krispy Kreme donut shop in town. They would serve free coffee to police, and I do enjoy my coffee. Needless to say, I would swing by there during the shift to check on them, and get my daily dose of caffeine goodness. So one evening, I was in there drinking my cup of Colombian Supreme and chatting with the manager. Several people came in, and one of them was a lady that kept looking at me. I politely nodded to her and raised my cup as if to say, hello, and that is when she said, cop in a donut shop. That is so funny. It's not like I haven't heard that a thousand times. Without missing a beat, I said, yep. They have great coffee. I left it at that. Suddenly, a man that was in line behind her shouted, judging by the size of her ass, they must have great donuts too. OMG everyone in there was like, damn. She was so furious that she stormed out of the door, leaving behind her donuts. I made eye contact with the man, who just gave me a thumbs up. I kept on drinking my coffee without saying a word. Instant karma. Yagi. Thanks to that guy. You gave that lady a lesson of minding their own business. That's what's up. Alrighty guys. Well that's all for this episode of Cop Stories. I will catch up with you guys in another video. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more amazing, wild, and spectacular stories from Quora.
If you guys have more interesting stories, especially police officers, please share yours in the comment and I will definitely put it in our upcoming videos. See you guys.